court documents in a drug case have provided more information into an early Friday morning shooting in Gehring that left one man hospitalized. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, Gehring police continue to search for the men responsible for a Friday morning shooting that has hospitalized a 24-year-old Gehring man. Court records say that Josh Kautz was shot after two men entered his 3rd Street residence and shouted, Where's the money? The men entered the room of Isaac Palomo and rattled the handle to a safe. The men fled on foot and remain at large. Police arrested Palamo after finding a large amount of cocaine, cash, and firearms in the safe. Palamo told police that the items were his, and he was arrested on a charge of possession of a controlled substance. Hospital staff at Regional West say that Couts is currently listed in good condition. Garing police are still investigating the shooting and are asking the public to come forward with any information regarding this case. Well, today, Governor Pete Ricketts and other state leaders announced an initiative aimed at filling jobs here in Nebraska. Ricketts says even with one of the nation's lowest unemployment rates, there are still roughly 10,000 jobs posted on the Nebraska Works website. The new Nebraska Talent Scholarships will be available to students at Nebraska's universities, state colleges, and community colleges, and look to expand job opportunities across Nebraska. Rickett says these $4,000 scholarships are targeted at specific areas where talent can be developed. Uh, with regard to the University of Nebraska, it will spe specifically be around math, engineering, industrial technology, and com computer information systems. For the, com the community or for the state colleges, it will be around rangeland management, uh, industrial technology, computer information systems, and criminal justice. For the community college system, they will work with the Department of Economic Development in each of the different areas for the community colleges, working with the business to determine the specific areas there for those scholarships. Rickett says they'll start the program with 250 scholarships and it will grow to 500 by year two, totaling $3 million in the first biennium. He'll pitch lawmakers this proposal during the upcoming legislative session. Well, straight ahead, a blustery day across the region. Any relief in sight? Well, boy, we'll have your full week weather forecast right after this on KNEB.TV News. At Platte Valley Bank, we understand that you have a busy life, and that means you don't always have time to come to the bank. That's why we offer user-friendly online and mobile banking with features such as iPay, recurring transfers, and mobile deposit. So you can bank how you want, when you want to. Whether you prefer to bank in person, over the phone, or online, Platte Valley Bank makes it easy to take care of your finances. together all your money with a friend and invest in two Arby's French Dippin' Swiss sandwiches for just six dollars. It's the perfect get-rich-quick-on-sandwiches scenario. Arby's, we have the meat. This is KNEB.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meat. Well, windy conditions are coming our way this evening. We're going to have winds strongest uh, through about 7, 8, 9 o'clock. They'll start to die off then after uh, dark. And uh, we're going to drop into the mid-20s for lows tonight. The winds are certainly the story of the day today. They didn't kick up till after the lunch hour, but when they did, they got really cranked up out there. High wind warning continues until 11. It's calmer the rest of the week, and we're going to stay above normal temperature-wise. 57 uh, yesterday after a low of 30. Nothing in the rain gauge, still just 100th for the month and year. 
And we don't see any big changes coming to our weather for the next six to 10 days. Take a look at our six to 10 day outlook as we look way out into the future. A large swath of the middle part of the country here under above normal temperatures and unfortunately below normal precip out here in our area as well. So uh, it looks like we're gonna continue in this dry uh, and warm pattern uh, for the next probably seven to 10 days. Hopping on the bus tomorrow, how about 25? Clear skies, sunny on the way home. 42, no problems out there with the wind like we had today. And boy, do we have the high wind warnings out. Take a look at this large area here covered by this high wind warning from the Front Range of Colorado all the way up into the Casper, Riverton, and Rock Springs areas. As you look here across our region, yeah, those high wind warnings continue until 11 o'clock tonight for all the southern panhandle. Uh, Bridgeport down to Sydney, over to Kimball, up through Scotts Bluff, and then Torrington. Uh, LaGrange, Burn, Cheyenne, uh, and right along the I-25 corridor up through Wheatland, Glendo, and Douglas. Had uh, lots of reports of some blowovers and of course portions of that road closed to lightweight and high profile vehicles throughout the day and will continue into this evening until those winds go down. Well you can see uh, the colder temps are off to our west. We have temps that are in the low 40s, certainly colder than where we were yesterday and that wind makes it feel even colder. Look at the wind still out there here this evening out of the west, 20 to 30 miles an hour, over 30 miles an hour at LaGrange, blowing out of the west uh, and occasionally to the northwest. Primarily though, those winds have been westerly in a primary direction. That's dropping wind chills even colder, so though we're in the 40s, feels more like in the low 30s. Well, over the next 24 hours, you can see this frontal system, it's made its way through and it's gonna push well off to the east, high pressure and control. Here's the next system, it's not gonna mean much to us though. Uh, and it's going to take its time before it gets here. We're going to be dealing with winds. Yes, they're here. Notice by 8, 9 o'clock tonight, 10 o'clock, then they start to die down after 10. And uh, by tomorrow morning, the winds are going to be an afterthought here across the region. That's good because, boy, did we certainly need uh, to drop those wind speeds out there a little bit. 17 tonight in Ogallala, 15 in Alliance. As we zoom in closer to our area, temps in the 20s uh, in the southern portions of our region, upper teens, and even some mid-teens up around the Alliance area. Tomorrow then, winds remain strong through the morning hours here in the wind-prone areas, and then notice by late tomorrow afternoon, those winds finally die out completely in the high country. A few clouds late tomorrow night gonna try to sneak back in here. Generally speaking though, we are going to be sunny. It looks like uh, lows tonight, or highs tomorrow, rather gonna be in the low to mid 40s out here across the region, including right here in our area, low to mid 40s will pretty much cover all of our area. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast then. We have not much going on. Highs in the mid 40s on Tuesday. We'll be in the mid and upper 50s by Wednesday, cooling back to near 50, still well above normal for this time of year with again, no precip in sight and really not much more in the way of winds after today for the rest of the week. So into the weekend, it looks like it's gonna be a very pleasant uh, upcoming forecast. You never know when you'll need an extra French dip in Swiss. It could get lost in the car or eaten by a confused stranger. Stuff happens to sandwiches. That's why Arby's made you two French dip in Swiss sandwiches for just six bucks. For only six dollars, you'll always have a spare French dip in Swiss until you eat it. You'll never have to be afraid. Arby's, we have the meat. Why should you come out to Double O Country Store in Banner County? Because we serve locally raised beef, chicken, and bison. And our hamburger buns, cabbage burgers, and pies are homemade every day. Breakfast is served daily from 8 to 11 with all-you-can-eat pancakes on Saturday. Or join us Friday nights for Burger Fest. Choose from six specialty burgers or build your own. And for dessert, make sure you save room for one of our homemade milkshakes. We are worth the drive here at Double O Country Store on Highway 71 just 10 minutes south of the Wildcats. Who is Hydrotex? Hydrotex manufactures and distributes high-performance lubricants and fuel improvers. We've been helping customers improve their operations for over 80 years with products made in the USA. We sell directly to customers and cut out the middleman and offer excellent service and value. Our products last longer and work better so that you spend less time maintaining equipment and more time making money. Whether you're in a factory, farm, fleet, or food processing facility, Hydrotex can help you. Visit hydrotexoil.com or call 308-635-8162. 
the leads are turning and the temperatures are cooling. So it's time to come harvest the deals at the Vieira Wireless Fall Savings Sale. Right now, get your family high-speed, truly unlimited mobile data for just 35 bucks per line with four lines. Prices have never been lower for unlimited data. Plus, trade in your current phone and get up to $500 off the latest iPhone and Samsung models. Those are incredible savings on the most popular and advanced smartphones. Don't miss out on our fall savings sale. Hurry into Viero today. Welcome back. Two Scotts Bluff men are facing numerous felony charges following investigation of two burglaries at rural Scotts Bluff County homes prior to the weekend. 27-year-old Sergio Charies and 22-year-old Austin Weller were arrested Friday night by Scotts Bluff County deputies after they were discovered hiding in a Scotts Bluff residence. The duo are accused of stealing firearms, jewelry, and medical supplies. Charges they're facing include burglary, theft over $5,000, possession of a stolen firearm, and several drug-related charges. Initial appearances for both men were set for Monday afternoon in Scottsbluff County Court. Well, Alliance officials say the first step of renovations on the city's sunken gardens is almost complete. The city will now work on finding a firm that will complete design and construction drawings for the project. Officials will oversee the design and materials selected in this process, and the work will help them determine a precise budget, and then the project will then go out for bid to contractors. And the Scottsdale Police Department has completed their end-of-the-year DUI grant. Sergeant Philip Eckerberg says during that period, there were 66 arrests, including four DUIs, 10 for driving under suspension, 10 arrests for minor in possession, 19 drug-related arrests, including one stolen vehicle recovered and 13 arrest warrants being served. An additional 80 citations were issued and another 274 warnings were issued as well. Well, straight ahead, Chris Cottrell heads to WNCC to talk college hoops with the coaches of the men's and women's teams. We'll be back at the sports desk right after this. Across the state, every eye and ear is focused on one stadium where the sea of red is man-made. A place where every Saturday is a stage for our team, for our resolve, and for our values. It's toughness, it's dedication, it's work ethic. That's what Nebraska is. This is Husker Nation. <laughs> we can't warn you that karma is very real. But we can bring you Temperature Tuesdays. Runza makes it all better. Anyone who calls it a hobby doesn't understand. We know that a person's passion is what drives them. And that's why every memorial we create is a true reflection of the individual. Only a Dignity Memorial professional can celebrate a life like no other. Find out how at DignityNebraska.com. Sports from the Western Hearing Clinic Sports Desk. Western Hearing Clinic, the Panhandle's choice for better hearing. Helping you hear what matters most. Hoops preview from the highest level here in town today with our update from the Sports Desk. Last week, there were many area high school basketball teams coming off a long layoff. Tonight, it's the WNCC men's and women's teams trying to shake off the rust of a three-week end-of-semester break. Women's coach Chad Gibney knows things can look a little ragged coming right off the break. Yeah, that first practice back uh, is, is always very interesting. Uh, you know, after three weeks off, 
uh, you know, get a, with time away. Uh, hopefully they were in the gym some. Uh, but it, but this first game back is always uh, very interesting to see, um, you know, how, we'll, how our pace and how our uh, execution will be. Tonight, the Cougar women right into the teeth of Region 9 play with a road game at Casper College. Casper, of course, the defending region champion from a year ago. Well, they had nine or ten sophomores last year, so they were very experienced, a very deep group last year. Um, you know, but but their team this year is very talented again. Uh, you know, they're very well coached, they're disciplined, uh, and they do a good job of making you work for everything you get. So it will certainly be a tough test this evening. Lady T-Bird sitting at 10-4 and four this season. This will be the first matchup of the year between these two teams. Coach Gibney with a key on getting a road win tonight. You know, I think we need to dictate the pace of the game. Uh, we need to make sure that we bring the fight to them. Uh, and, and they do a really good job of being physical, uh, of keeping the game in the half court and, and rebounding. Uh, you know, and defensively, they're tough to score on. Uh, so I think for us, we need to get out in transition. We need to pick up the tempo, um, you know, and put a lot of pressure on them uh, with our drives and our, and our shooting. Casper defends well in the half court, and that could make it tough on the Cougars from long range, where they currently lead the country with 12 made three-pointers per game. Tip-off tonight on the road at 6 o'clock. Same start time for the men's team in Cheyenne as they take on Laramie County Community College. Same worries for head coach Corey Faringer that Coach Gibney has. How will the guys respond to being back on the game floor? We have no clue what to expect going into this game tonight. Um, you know, you just understand that it's a it's a long season for the kids. It's you know seven months of, of being active. There's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be highs and lows. And you just ask the kids to be consistent, show up today, be a workman, and do the best work that they can do today, man. On top of the expected rust, the Cougars, well, they're going to be down to just seven healthy and available players tonight. Just seven? Is that what we're down to? That's what he, that's what he said. Yeah, I, I think we're limited on our depth. Um, but at the end of the day, like that's what you have, and whoever puts on a jersey is expected to play their tail off. They're expected to be great teammates. They're expected to share the ball, defend the ball, and rebound the ball. Um, and no matter who puts on a Western Nebraska uniform, that's what they're going to do. Eli Cadet out through the end of this month, and they're hoping to get back Henry Tanksley off a of foot injury sooner rather than later as well. The Cougars beat L Triple C by 25 earlier this season, but Coach Farringer not too worried about that or even the scouting report on tonight's opponent. You know, we're concerned about, you know, I should say our emphasis is defend, rebound, value the ball. We want to see our guys close out really hard. We want to see them really engage in the guard and the bounce. You know, we want to see them help side engage into stopping the basketball and, and seeing their man offensively, you know, pass the ball to the open man, keep it simple, screen for guys that should get open um, and continue to move the ball side to side. Uh, Laramie County is not the concern Western Nebraska is. The Cougars right now 12-4 and four on the season, trying to snap a little two-game slide from last month. After tonight, both teams home this weekend. The men entertain Otero Friday. The women play the early game that night against Northeast. And then on Saturday, it's the Lady Cougars at Cougar Palace taking on Otero. That's the latest today from right here at the Western Hearing Clinic Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell. Ryan will update you on the community calendar right after this on KNEB.TV. The new year comes resolutions. Complete your resolution to replace your windows by calling Renewal by Anderson. And right now is your last chance to buy 2019 windows at 2018 prices. Plus, pay nothing until 2020. That's right. You will get 20% off every window and door, plus no money down, no interest, and no payments for 12 months. And free window diagnosis, free in-home estimate, and free removal and disposal of your old windows. Hurry. This offer ends February 15th. Call 472-2199 to take advantage of this offer before the 2018 prices are gone. Compliments for you and your home has got the latest decor. Come in today and see what you can create. 
Start with great home decor from Uttermost, lamps, chairs, and vases for any taste. Need a little light for a more intimate feeling? Flameware is a recharging LED light that simulates candle flames. Rootworks bowls are hand-carved, one-of-a-kind wooden bowls you can't find anywhere else. Finally, for a little accent, try these leather and western-style pillows from High End. Compliments for you and your home, downtown Scotts Bluff. It's a friendly town, that's for sure. Not too big, not too small. Seems like everybody knows your name. We stick together through thick and thin. That's the way it's always been. Cause where we live is still our claim to fame. Let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar. That's a look at today's community calendar brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. The kids need to run off some energy after school or too cold to play outside? Bring them to Planet Bounce at the Monument Mall. With many bounce houses, a concession stand, and the largest redemption arcade around, Planet Bounce has hours of fun. Call today to schedule your birthday party, or ask Ron about renting a bounce house for your party, office party, or corporate event. Open Wednesday through Sunday, Planet Bounce Family Fun Center at the Monument Mall. It is never too early to start planning for retirement, and working with an experienced financial advisor can put you on the right path. At Platte Valley Investment Center, our team of financial advisors will work with you every step of the way to maximize your retirement income. Call me, Jody Rosiska, or Rick Morehouse, financial advisors, to set up your free no obligation consultation. Raymond James Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA SIPC. Life well planned. And finally, tonight, it was the changing of the guards today as Mark Gordon was sworn in this morning as Wyoming's 33rd governor. Gordon defeated Democrat Mary Throne to succeed two term Republican Governor Matt Mead. The Republican said in his inaugural address that state government services come with a price tag. He says Wyoming officials need to recognize that not all wants are needs, and deciding between the two will be tough work. We all know that reaching our potential will not be easy. We do have challenges ahead, but if history teaches us anything, it is that we in Wyoming are resourceful and that throughout our history, our state has been blessed with pragmatic, effective, and strong leaders. Wyoming's other four statewide elected officials were also sworn in before Wyoming Chief Justice Michael Davis in the Wyoming Capitol. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you here next time. <laughs>